what's up guys dope strings with a video today um man i'm not even gonna lie to you guys bro um it's been a long day man it's been a long day <laughs> oh man i gotta um after i got done driving today man i was freaking um i didn't realize i was as tired as i was but i ended up going to sleep for a few hours um when I nap, I normally don't only go to sleep like a like an hour and a half hour. I don't know what it was, but I end up being knocked out flat for like a few hours. Um, so normally I would have a, a video uploaded by now, but I don't. So you may be getting this video tonight, or you may be getting this video tomorrow morning. Um, it shouldn't take long to upload, but at the same time, it's like I probably upload tomorrow morning. Um. I don't know. Videos tend to do better when you, when they're when it's during the day. Um, I don't know if drivers. I don't know if other drivers listen to um, listen to things while they're driving. Like me personally, I listen to um, I listen to a lot of things while while I'm driving. Um, I listen to a lot of podcasts while I'm driving. Um, basically, I listen to a lot of things while I'm driving. Um, I listen to a lot of music too. Um, if I'm not if I'm having a bad day, I listen to music. But this video is not even about any of that. I don't really know. I'm just bringing it up. Like I say, if you know me, I, I should have named my team, um, name my channel Rambler or somebody that I don't freaking know. I just be rambling. But anyways, guys, um, this video is is basically, um, basically everybody want to know like why do drivers like automatic trucks and why do companies like automatic trucks? Uh, I think I think the main thing why drivers like like automatic trucks is because I mean I mean companies like automatic trucks. Is, you can put anybody in them. Um, anybody can drive an automatic truck. It's, it's um, I, I've heard drivers that have came from manual to um automatic. Um, they can't figure it out, which is crazy as hell. I mean, it's crazy to me. I don't know if they don't have manual. I mean, not manual, but um, automatic cars or whatnot. But it, I mean, it sounds crazy to me. They say, they say um, a lot of people that drive manual trucks, um, they come they go to automatic trucks. They say they can't. Um, they feel more. They say they, they said they feel more control of the manual truck than I guess more connected to the manual truck because you're like manual, manually shifting the truck compared to um, some of the automatics. Which some automatics you can actually manual shift the trucks. Same exact thing, but it's more so like a um, like my truck. It's more so like a um, like a, um. I don't know if anybody ever dr driven a car with pedal shifters. Um, I, my Challenger had pedal shifters. Um, I had a scat pack. But it's, it's similar to that. But you don't have a um, you don't you don't have like a, a shifter on both sides. It's just, it's just on the um driver side. Well, in this truck, it's you know just on the driver on the not the driver side, but the um, right side of the steering wheel behind. Um, but yeah, a lot of drivers, a lot of um companies, they get automatics because you could basically put anybody in them. Um, that's a that's a, that's one of the main reasons. Um, another reason is fuel mileage, bro. Um, I don't care what I mean. A lot of people say you could they can um. With the proper um, with the proper shifting that they can compete with a, a automatic truck, that is not the case, bro. That is not the case. You're not going to compete with an automatic truck, bro. An automatic truck, it literally knows every parameter to get the best fuel mileage, bro. It's like it shifts. I'm not saying they got the smoothest shifters. They they smooth shift. They ah, uh, and I'm not saying that they shift as smooth as a um, as as a um manual truck. But then again, some manual trucks don't even shift that um well, um. But anyways, other than that, but yeah, back to shifting. Like you can't, you can't beat it, bro. If I'm getting nine miles to the gallon in a freaking automatic truck, um, loaded. Um, I haven't seen a freaking manual truck get nine miles to the gallon, bro. Not even aero trucks. Um, if they're empty, possibly you can get nine miles per gallon. But we're talking about loaded. I haven't seen it, bro. I haven't seen it. Um, maybe you guys can point me out some trucks that's getting nine, ten miles per gallon that are manual trucks, loaded. Maybe you can point me out of that. I mean, of course, um, mountains, um, flatland, of course that make plays a role. But even then, it's, they're not getting nine, ten miles per gallon. Um, yeah, but a lot of people they, they like they like automatics. Automatics, you could, I mean, it's less to have the the driver focus on when it when it comes to training too. Um. <laughs> With auto, with all manuals, it, it, it's a few things you gotta focus on, bro. You gotta focus on the RPMs, um, 
the RPMs. You got to know when to press the clutch, when to release the clutch, um, brake. It, it, man, it's a lot. Of, it's a lot going on. So I understand that aspect when it comes to like a company trying to put drivers in trucks. Um, and I wouldn't even say I wouldn't even say. Um, I mean, a lot. A lot of drivers they say that um, automatic drivers are steering wheel holders and whatnot. Um, me, me personally, that, that doesn't bother me, bro. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. It really doesn't. Um, like, let's let, let's compare our backing. I can I can I can guarantee I back more, better than a lot of drivers out there. Don't matter what type of truck you drive. Um, if you drive a manual, what not? I can back better. Um, you might can shift and do all of that extra shit in your truck. I don't really care, bro. All I care about is the money. Um, the back end, I can back better, but all I truly care about is the money, bro. When it comes to being an owner operator, you should care more about the money than the freaking truck, for real. Um, I mean, the money that the truck generates compared to the um, the shift, the um, not shifting, but whether it's an automatic or manual, that that should be the least of your worries, right there. Um, a lot of drivers they have bad experiences with automatics and manuals. It comes down to the maintenance of these trucks, bro. Um. If you drive a um, if you drive a um, a crappy truck that you didn't bought secondhand from someone that wasn't a fleet truck or it wasn't a, a good fleet truck, um, you're gonna have issues, bro, with the transmission and all that. Um, they're rough on the trucks, bro. Um, me personally, I haven't had any. I've on, I've had freaking what five? No, yeah, I have five. No, I've driven uh, over the years. I've driven um. I've had five Peterbilts. Uh, I've had five Peterbilts, two two Freightliners, and an International. So that's eight trucks. I've driven eight trucks, and bro, I've only had transmission issues out of one of my Peterbilts that I've had. And all these were automatic trucks, but I've only had issues out of one freaking um one transmission. That was, it, it was a clutch issue. It was under warranty. Yet. I mean, it, it wasn't that bad. I mean, I don't really care about that, but only one time, bro. On a clutch issue, bro. So you can't really say the manual trucks are more reliable. Um, everybody has their own experiences. I'm just giving you mine. Um, me personally, it wasn't. I, I wouldn't say it's more reliable because any truck can um any a manual or automatic truck can have a clutch issue. Um, yeah, any, any truck can have a clutch issue, bro. Um, so it wasn't like it was like a it wasn't like it was like an automatic thing. Compared to a manual thing, it wasn't something different that a, that a manual truck has. Um, but yeah, you can't you can't beat the, the fuel mileage, bro. You can't beat the um, you can't be as easy it is to put a driver in it because man, you can hire a lot of drivers, a lot of drivers. Um, manual trucks, you can. I mean, it's bad drivers in either one. If you're driving a manual or if you're driving a um an automatic truck, it doesn't matter to the truck, the uh, transmission in the truck. You can have a bad driver either one. Man, it's drivers that don't know how to freaking um shift a manual truck that a freaking come down a mountain can't put the freaking truck back in gear or nothing. They're flying down that mountain. That's when they smoke the brakes. Um, I think it's more freaking ac not accidents where I think it's more people that can't shift and lose brakes coming down the mountain in manuals than it is automatics, bro. Um, at, bro, the Jake brake in the freaking Freightliner, those new Freightliner Cascadias, that mug is strong. It's way stronger than my Peterbilt, bro. When it comes to Jake and like, I just, you literally just set the truck in gear, um, put your, how fast you want to go and freaking put the Jake on and it just, it does, it does all everything for you, bro. Every, everything. Um, it, the, uh, I mean, with my truck, you got, you got to, um, with the automatics, bro, in the, um, Freightliner, I will say this, bro. If you, um, it's real strong. So it doesn't even matter if you come down the mountain in the wrong gear. Um. And what I'm talking, I'm talking about, I'm talking about, um, what are they called? Um, I'm talking about the automatics you can shift, not the freaking automatics that you can, um, not the automatics that you can, not the automatics that you just have drive, neutral, um, reverse. I'm talking, to, and you can't shift it. Uh, I'm talking about the actual automatics that you can shift. But yeah, and the automatic, bro, you just like you can, you can shift that. Um, you don't really have to shift the freaking um, the um, Cascadias at all. My truck, you have to know, man, you have to come down. It's like it's like a regular manual truck. You have to come down that mountain in the right gear. Or 
it's gonna the freaking RPMs are gonna freaking keep spiking. You gotta have to keep um you gotta keep up shifting to bring them back down. Um and you have to stab break. If you don't um come down the mountain or whatever in the right gear. So it's basically like a um basically like a regular manual. I mean they are manuals but it's automatic too, so it's basically like that. Um the Jake and the Jake is not as strong. So you definitely have to come down in the right gear. The the, the um what I've seen in the Freightliners automatics, they're more forgiving. But you can come down the mountain in any gear, bro. That Jake is gonna freaking slow you down. Um, you might have to actually, depending on what level of what level you're on, like I think it's like one, two, or three in those. Uh, you might have to freaking like, like normally, I, normally in my truck I go three because that's the, like the only thing that's freaking really that really works. Not really works, but really um makes a difference. Um, the first gear don't really make a difference. The second gear really don't make a difference unless you like. Um, the third gear makes the most difference when you're heavy. Um, oh, and you got the max. I forgot the max. I don't, I don't think the Freeland has the max. Somebody got to correct me if I'm wrong. But I don't think the Freeland has the max thing. Um, I know my truck does. I don't normally use the max unless I'm really trying to freaking come to a stop. And I'm freaking, I'm, I'm well in the truck. But I don't normally have to use the max. I normally just have it in third. But, um, but yeah. That is why drivers like to use automatics, bro. I plan on actually, um, when I start my fleet, I want to buy automatic trucks, bro. I might have one manual in the truck, in the, um, in the fleet. Um, but I think that, that'd probably be more so for me. And it'd probably be like a backup truck, not an actual, um, truck I run. Because I want to make the most, I want my fleet to make the most amount of money. I want my drivers to make the most amount of money. Um, and that, I mean, and it's like the automatic is where it's at. Um, when it comes to swapping things out, I can't remember which one is freaking easier, um, automatic or manual. I believe, yeah, I believe it's the auto. I believe the automatic is way easier to swap out too. When it comes to pricing, on I think the automatic costs more to replace, um, but they also are quicker to um, they're quicker to um, remove and put a new one in. The manuals are they're a bit different, but they're cheaper to buy. But really, that's my that's my take on why drivers and um, companies like automatics over manuals. That's really, um, I mean, that's really all it is, man. Easier to put drivers in the trucks, better fuel mileage. I mean, what driver doesn't want better fuel mileage? Definitely, if you're paying for fuel. Um, a lot of a lot of um, owner operators don't like better fuel mileage. A lot of owner operators like long nose peats. Um, me for myself, I like long nose peats, but I'm gonna be smart about my business because at the end of the day, I'm paying for fuel. Um, you see a lot of these companies going under. These drivers that drive long nose peats are parking their trucks. Um, I'm not saying it's, it's not a lot of long nose peace on the road or um, Kenworths or whatever, whatnot. I'm not saying it's not a lot on the road, but a lot of these people are parking their truck or they're selling these trucks off and buying um and buying aero trucks or they're working for um they decide to park their truck. They work for a company that has aero trucks. So um, you take what you want with that, but yeah, I think a lot of drivers. I think the automatic thing is the best right now. Um, but it's more so a preference thing. If you want a manual truck, just get a manual truck, bro. If you feel like, feel like you can't drive automatic, like a lot of drivers feel like like they can't drive automatic because they can't, they feel like don't, they're not in control of the truck. If you feel like you're not in control of an automatic, something something is totally wrong with you. Um, because nine times out of ten, you probably drive on an um, automatic car. Oh, this is crazy. We got to talk about the back of one of these spots. I don't know if these people are hippies in this parking lot. They got three school buses painted. They got curtains around the whole thing. Uh, they got plants outside the trucks, and they got um, and they got solar panels on the ground. My dog was going ham, and I took him outside. I don't know if these people are hippies or what. It's weird, bro. I don't. It's weird, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Uh, but anyways, um, yeah, that's really what. But my drivers like um, automatic. while companies like automatic, bro. Better fuel mileage. It's easier to put drivers in them. Um, I think. I mean, that's really the only two reasons, really. Um. Well, people, I mean, a lot of drivers, a lot of older drivers that have been driving manual over time, that they um and they swap to a they swap to automatic truck, they end up liking them at the end of the day. Um, a lot of drivers that have that have manual trucks, I don't know, if, I don't know what it is about manual trucks. I don't know if it makes them feel like less of a man or something. I don't know. It's weird, bro. It's weird, bro. It's weird. You would think they want to make more money, but they don't want to make more money. They they they're stuck in their old ways, like. A lot of a lot of drivers are stuck in their old ways. That's why a lot of drivers got dang. They, 
they, they're a creature of habit. Um, they're a creature of habit and freaking the way they do things. I mean, it might it got consequences to some of the things they do because they creature habit. Um, sometimes you gotta learn to break those habits, bro. Sometimes you gotta learn to break those habits. But yeah, right now I think the best bet is to freaking drive a um, drive a um, <coughs> drive a um, an automatic truck, bro. Um, I plan on buying a manual truck um, in the near future. Maybe not this year. I don't know yet. I mean, I might, I might, I might, like I said, I might buy one this year. Uh, it's going to be a heavy haul truck, but it probably won't be driving no time this, no time soon. But the only reason I buy a manual truck right now is because they're freaking cheap. Bro, you, I'm seeing trucks go for like 4000 10000 right now. Um, I wouldn't depend on it to run my business right now. Um, I don't have I don't have the money right now to just stick into a freaking manual truck and just run that truck over this truck. Um, and what I plan on doing it, it, this truck can get better fuel mileage. Um, but yeah, I mean, what this this video was about, man, just give my give my take on why drivers like um, automatic trucks over manual trucks. Um, and it's no shade to anybody that drives a, a automatic or a manual, bro. You're not no steering wheel holder, bro. Um, what I consider consider road is somebody that doesn't um um I don't, I don't want to offend nobody basically is what I'm trying to say on this video but I consider a steering wheel holder um someone who doesn't who just want to drive the truck basically that's what I that's what I consider a steering wheel holder is somebody who just wants to drive the truck they don't want to um they don't want to do small repairs like freaking a mud flap change a mud flap out they don't want to do stuff like that um change an air filter out. Um, they just want to drive the truck like a regular job. Um, that's why I call steering. That's what I call steering wheel holder. Um, if you drive a manual truck, automatic truck, it doesn't fucking make a difference, bro. Um, if, if you drive a manual truck and you don't want to do small repairs on your truck, you rather a shop do it and sit in the shop all day for that. I mean, I consider that a steering wheel holder. But if you drive a manual truck and an automatic truck, it doesn't make a freaking difference, bro. There's a lot of lazy drivers out here. It doesn't matter if you freaking um that doesn't that doesn't um change if you're a lazy driver or not with it. What transmission you decide to choose or what what or not. But anyways guys, I'm gonna catch you guys on the next video. I'm just trying to hurry up and get this video out for you guys. Um I actually think that the next my next video might be a um what are steering wheel holders to me. It's my opinion. Um you reckon to have your own opinion. I don't really care. But anyways guys, I'm gonna catch you on the guys on the next video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down, tell me like the video. Um, give me a um, turn on all post notifications so you'll be notified when I drop my next video. 